since I mentioned about fantasy, right? There's something I need to get off my chest. So yesterday I decided to um, pull for Lin because currently Lin is the only character that has the uh, the altered uh, damage, which makes her unique. So I decided to collect 80 red nucleus by going through. Uh, by collecting every single collectibles that I could find in the entire um, Vera, Esperia, Artificial Island that I could think of and I managed to get um, 80 red um, nucleus which originally converted from the, um, the dark crystals so basically um, Tower of Fantasy's dark crystals is basically uh, in a sense Genshin's Primo gems Okay, after like maybe a, a week of or two of farming or hunting these um, dark crystals, I managed to secure exactly 80 um, red nucleus. Because in Tower of Fantasy, right, once you um you have reached the 80th pool, you are at least guaranteed an SSR in the Tower of in the character banner. But it does not guarantee the character that you want. So um, basically, my PD, um, I'm not sure if I should call it the, the PT counter, but yeah, there, 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 there is a meter, there is a counter at, at each band, each of each of their character banner, which uh, which which is marks up to eighty. So at Lin's banner. My ben my meter was at zero, so I decided to perform an 80 pulls on Lin's banner, but unfortunately, things didn't go the way that I wanted. I mean, during the first 70 pulls, not a single trace of SSR character at all. Then came the 80th pool. I was really really hoping that Lin comes home but no nope. another SSR came home instead. At that moment of time I felt really f I felt really angry and frustrated because after days maybe weeks of hard work that I've done and yet I couldn't get Lin. But I got a non-limited SSR character instead. And after a long, long thinking, then came to my mind where after all that I've done, you're giving, you're, I didn't get to pull for Lin, and I have to go through the same shit again. And the worst part of Tower of Fantasy is that. Their resources are limited. Well, and what I mean by resources is the black crystals, which is um, in Genshin's terms, primo gems. Tower of Fantasy is is lacking in distribution of dark crystals. That is the main issue, especially me as a free-to-play player in Tower of Fantasy. Right, considering the fact that the Tower of Fantasy provides less resources and after failing to pull for lane there's no way in hell i'm gonna go through that hell of farming again and again i mean not to mention right if you're asking me to deal like what 10 minutes of a mini boss fight or boss fight that's completely fine but 30 minute as but 30 minute boss fight and you can't even solo it no way man no freaking way and so i decided to call it quits in other words, I am done and true with Tower of Fantasy. After one, after exactly one month of playing Tower of Fantasy, I decided to call it quits because their character banner guarantees an SSR character, but it doesn't guarantee the character that you want. Unlike Genshin, Genshin at the very least, right? If you fail the 50-50. The next SSR that you get, you will get the character that's in the 
the limited banner. Tower of Fantasy on the other hand, once you reach the 80 pool mark doesn't mean you will get the character. In other words, you might fail the 50-50 for a few number of times. Which I personally didn't like that idea because in my personal op honest opinion right, every single gacha game uh, should have a PT counter of some sort. Just like how Genshin does, just like how Grand Book Fantasy does, just like how um, Grand Free Grand Order uh, is doing recently. I don't know about other gacha games but in my own honest opinion, every every gacha game should have at least a PT counter or some sort. But and another thing about Tower of Fantasy is right, they are more focused on weapons instead of characters. Because I will admit, Tower of Fantasy has quite a few good looking characters. Lots, uh, like um, Fuasaki, Lin, and then um, there's Samuel, there's some um, Nemesis. But the problem is that you can only control or pilot one character only. Which, to be frank, I didn't really like that idea. Because. Personally, I'd rather enjoy controlling multiple characters of 3 or 4 rather than a single character. Because you have already provided these, these look good looking characters, why limited each player to control one character only? To me, it's not right. It's just basically saying, okay, you pull the weapon, here's the character scene, whether you want to use it or not, it's up to you. But unfortunately, you can only use one skin slash one character at a time. And that's freaking it. So yeah, that's another thing that I really didn't like about Tower of Fantasy. If Tower of Fantasy manages to consistently provide Dark Crystals to the players, I don't mind continuing playing the game. But the problem is that instead of providing the players Dark Crystals, they provide us with Dark Nucleus and all Gold Nucleus which only provides non-limited SSR characters which I do not really like. What's the freaking point of um, providing um, Black Nucleus and or Gold Nucleus if those Nucleuses at the end of the day is just gonna give us non-limited SSR characters which to me it's not right. Which is why in my personal honest opinion, it will be much more better if Tower of Fantasy just replaced the black nucleus to the gold ones and the gold nucleus that they provide to the red nucleus instead. And that's one more thing that I've uh, recently found out. Tower of Fantasy, they did release an alternate skin which is um, a summer skin for Lin. And I'll be very honest, Lin's summer skin is sexy as but in order to get her skin is basically the same way as getting Fuasaki's pure white skin which to be honest that I didn't really really like all the more reason for me to call it quits so to wrap up this conversation right if only Tower of Fantasy gives the option of controlling more than one character and at a PD counter of some sort in their gacha system, there is no way I'm going back into Tower of Fantasy. No way. And that's all I have to say about Tower of Fantasy.